The gentleman from Indiana Reserves, the gentlewoman from New Mexico is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes to the amazing gentlewoman from Vermont, uh, Ms. Ballant. The gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you. I rise in opposition to this bill and to speak clearly and directly on H.R. 734, which Republicans are ironically calling Protecting Girls in Schools Act. This bill is undeniably an attack on our kids and does nothing of substance to protect girls. Bills like this are aimed at taking away rights from LGBTQ Americans, specifically our kids. Kids and their families are being targeted and harassed for political gain. And I want to know, is this really the nation that we want to live in? Sports bans for kids are cruel and they are unnecessary. These bills are clearly, at their core, un-American. They are about restricting rights. They are about barring kids, kids, kids from full participation in sports. The U.S. House of Representatives must not participate in this obvious fear-based hate and discrimination of trans youth. We risk lives when we don't stand up clearly and loudly against discrimination of all kinds. This bill would have us believe that we should be afraid of trans youth. Nothing could be farther from the truth. When I talk to these kids and their families, when I listen deeply to these kids and their families, what they say is, I just want to live my life. I just want to have friends. I want to be myself. I don't want to go to school and be picked on. They need our support. They do not need us demonizing them and fear-mongering and bullying. Today, Republicans blocked our amendments, which would have actually, actually supported our girls in schools. My amendment would have strengthened protections against harassment in schools based on sex, race, color, national origin, disability, and age. It would have restored protections against harassment and ensured equal opportunities for all students. It would also require schools to take additional steps to protect students that have experienced sex-based harassment. We cannot keep putting our children in harm's way with this hateful rhetoric that is coming directly from inside the halls of Congress. Instead, let's actually do our job and take expired. real steps to actually protect our children. Thank the you. The gentlewoman's time has expired. Reserve. The gentleman from New Mexico.